For the next patient, she has a prominent Adam's apple and she's going to get an Adam's apple reduction procedure, also called tracheal shave. After doing a miniature incision in the neck, I'm now exposing the Adam's apple over here. It's very clearly visible, but I don't want to expose too much because force patients want to have a small scar, if at all, visible. I was looking for the landmarks, which is the prominence over here, and the lower border of the thyroid cartilage is about here, and midline between those two landmarks is where the insertion of the vocal folds is. And that's why with this little needle or cannula, I go a little bit above superior, exactly midline, sagittal, which means straight into the lumen of the larynx. And now we will look from inside if I really got the anterior commissure a little bit lower than the cannula is. I'm now inserting a angled telescope and I can identify the cannula and it's exactly in the anterior commissure so as we thought and now I will from this point on only superiorly take away the Adam's apple and that should be a safe procedure.